Say hello to climate change in the Nairobi slum. Volunteers knee-deep in the thick sludge and waste that clogs drainage troughs when it rains, sending water elsewhere. Those toiling are part of a project called Weather Village. They translate weather forecasts into local dialects and text them out. Clearing drains seemed the logical next step. Flooding has become more common, solid ground harder to find. People used to die because especially this area that you're standing, the water levels sometimes reaches up to somewhere here. It's the kind of local initiative Kenyan activists say would benefit from the climate change funding the developed world keeps on promising but fails to deliver. Climate change activists who went to the UN summit in Glasgow came back disheartened. It is not a favor to Africa. It is what we need as the, collectively as the global community. Many here ask why Kenya should abandon fossil fuels that might help pull people out of poverty when developed nations responsible for much of global warming are slow to do the same. Comfort. For the generation that will have to live tomorrow with today's decisions, it's scary. It's not just flooding, but drought too. These students say the West, including Canada, has a moral obligation to do more for countries already experiencing climate change. We are the lowest emitters, and what we are now seeing has been with us for quite some time. But that shouldn't encourage Kenyans to give up, says this engineering student. I'd appeal for us as young people generally to start looking for smaller strategies um, and to just make ourselves engineers. A little bit like the weather warriors back in Kibera, perhaps, at the end of their labor for now. Margaret Evans, CBC News, Nairobi.